So guys in this section we will discuss DC as a mean of transmission. So uh, power is transmitted from uh, more than a century now. Now and we are seeing this DC transmission especially nowadays are becoming very famous. So what could be the reasons why DC transmissions are now more in, in fashion or now more in use. First of all now DC transmissions components are high tech and they are now economical to produce. So that is why we can see nowadays any more DC transmission. DC transmission has been possible with the beginning of high power high current capability thyristors because uh, power electronics uh, studies uh, grow in advance. So it was possible to produce thyristors with very high current capability they can deliver power and with very high capacity and also with the advent of fast acting computerized controls. So these are all things make possible the, the DC transmission systems. Since our primary source of power is AC there are three basic steps for DC transmission. First step is to convert AC supply to DC, sup to DC that is called as rectification then supply the power through DC transmission line transmit DC and then again at receiving and convert DC back into AC which is called inverter function. So this is the little introduction about the DC transmission and its feasibility. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.